In somewhat of a shocking move, the Bengals have released Preston Brown. I'll talk about this next on the next episode of New Stripe City. Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Let me know what you guys want to talk about. I will start picking a random person's question in the comments to bring up here. So definitely be sure to participate in the comments. But Preston Brown has been cut by the Bengals. Um, somewhat of a shock because they just really gave him an extension last season or before the season and i believe it was like a three-year deal but apparently they're cutting him now and that saves them about five million dollars so um, he still is owed i think about eight hundred thousand in hard cap so they will have to pay him that but they do save five million dollars here uh this seems like he was kind of a culprit or a scapegoat for the Bengals linebackers that were abysmal this past weekend obviously we saw them just get humiliated this past weekend brown was actually benched at one point Jermaine Pratt started over him, um, and then Preston Brown comes back in, and the Ravens immediately just started picking on him again. Like, immediately, as soon as he got back in, they went right at him. So, uh, Preston Brown, it's not too shocking that this move has happened. Um, it sucks because he's a Cincinnati native, grew up a Bengals fan, so definitely wish him the best. Uh, but this was a move that I did foresee the Bengals eventually making. So, Preston Brown... Um, has been released. It seems like this may be a statement to the fans that the linebacking core hasn't been where they wanted at. Um, he's subject to waivers, so he could be claimed by another team, uh, possibly that could need some help at the linebacker position. So I'm sure he will be picked up. But this shows that the Bengals are clearly trying to make moves at the linebacker position. I'm not sure what else they can really do outside of this. I don't know if they plan on claiming any kind of linebackers that are, that are out there. I don't know if this is also a precursor for them to free up some more money in order to extend A.J. Green. That's $5 million more that they could use if they were to extend A.J. Green as well. Uh, but this move... Not much of a shock, man. The linebackers have been the weakest point. Um, I don't think Preston Brown himself is to blame for that. I think you look at Nick Vigil. I think you look at Jermaine Pratt. I think you look at all of the guys there. There really aren't. Um, there really isn't an answer for someone to be a linebacker in that room. But they were expecting Preston Brown to be that guy, and that's when you have to look at some of the decisions that have been made this off season, where they decided to pay guys like a Preston Brown that much money instead of going after a. Zach Brown or any of the other free agent linebackers that were out there. So uh, this move comes as no surprise. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as usual, I'll leave you with a who day all day, every day, and especially on Sunday.